So let's see how can we combine uh, two events together. So union is where uh, we take these two events and we simply uh, take the um, event A and B and uh, we put their outcomes all together. And that is the union uh, in which we can include the events uh, which are uh, either in the outcomes which are either in A or, or in B are present in both of them. So union is uh, denoted as A union B. Uh, whereas the intersection is where we can get uh, whatever is common between both of them. So it's the set of all outcomes that are included in both A and B. So the intersection is uh, denoted by this intersection sign. Here is the difference guys between the mutually exclusive events and non mutually exclusive events. Since mutually exclusive events does not have anything in common. So here if we take their union, we can simply add them up. So we can simply add their individual probabilities. So probability of A union B in case of uh, mutually exclusive or non overlapping events is given by this equation. So it is uh, P A union B is equal to uh, P of A plus P of B. In case of overlapping or non mutually exclusive events, uh, we can see the intersections. So here if we take the unions, we can add their individual probabilities, but we need to take out this part which is common to both. So we take their union as uh, probability of A union B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Why we are taking this intersection out? Because if we don't do that, we are trying to over counting the events which are common to both of them. Okay guys, so let's elaborate this uh, with this example. So we have event A uh, which is getting 2, 3 or 4 on throw of 2 dice and event B is getting uh, 3, 4 or 5 uh, on the throw of 2 dice. So uh, let's see how we can put them together. So when we make this diagram, we call this diagram as Venn diagram. So when we make this Venn diagram, so we have A where we have 2, 3 and 4 and B we have 3, 4 and 5. Whereas uh, we see that there are, uh, there is, there are intersection between A and B. So 3 and 4 are common to both of them. So let's take their probabilities. So when we take their probabilities, we can have probability of A, which is probability of 2, 3 or 4. And uh, we can simply add them together, 2, 3 and 4. And remember guys, in, in one of the uh, toss, uh, while you are throwing it once, uh, you can um, only get 2. You cannot get 2 or 3. So in that case, uh, they getting a 2 or a 3 or a 4 in just one event, is a mutually exclusive event. So simply we can add up their uh, probabilities as we do in this case. So we can have 1 out of 36 in case of uh, getting a 2 and 236 and 3 by 36. So total we have 6 by 36 outcomes together for probability of seeing a 2, 3 or a 4. In event B, the outcomes are 3, 4 or 5. So we add up their probabilities and uh, we get 2 by 36 plus 3 by 36 plus 4 by 36. So total we have 9 by 36. Their intersection is uh, where we have common among us them. So we have 3, 4 and, and basically these two are their intersection. So if we take their intersection, so we can have 2 by 36 plus 3 by 36. So we have 5 by 36 events where uh, both of them share these events. So when we take their union, we take their individual probabilities, this one and this one. And then we take their intersection and subtract this value of intersection from there. So total we have if we take their union, uh, their probability is uh, 10 by 36. You can simplify that if you want to. So in the end, we conclude that uh, a union is uh, given by um, taking their individual probabilities, adding them together and subtracting the intersections. So in case of uh, mutually exclusive events, the intersections are zero. So we can simply add up their probabilities if you want the union. But in case of the uh, these uh, non overlap uh, in case of the overlapping or non mutually exclusive events, uh, you need to subtract the intersection uh, from the sum of these probabilities.